Chess friends, how are you, hope you are healthy and fine, today I will play Magnus Gambit, switching the places of king and queen by legal moves against Magnus Carlsen himself, can he defeat me in chess? Let's see the game, I started with c3, I want to move the queen like this, f3 then king d1, queen e1, so knight f6 by Magnus, f3, we have d5 and he give me an extra move accidentally, knight c6 and we have king d1, he guard more center squares with e5, his position is super advanced, queen h4, bishop e7 and I move back my queen to his king home square, you can play this opening in your practice chess games to understand how to defend a chess position while you are in a bad condition. Pawn structure and king position is too bad and you should build your pawns as a defensive structure, keep your bishops in their home square until they need to develop, try to develop your knights in a good position to control black attacks, because when you are in bad situation with bad pawn structure, it is the knight who can help you to overcome your bad position, not your bishops, so we have castle. d4 and you should not take the pawn because it will help me to free up some space for my knight and the f file will be open, so Magnus developed his bishop, knight h3 and I want to target the bishop like this which is why he played h6, so knight f2, now he takes the pawn on e4 to open up his bishop lines, the dark square bishop gets a very good diagonal to control my center, pawn takes and he played rook b8. Because he want to push his b pawn with the supporting of the knight and bishop to open up the b file, because my king is in there and my king position is not good at all, so d3 b5 bishop e3 followed by b4, that's an aggressive move as his plan and his next tactic might be knight g4 to target it, and after doing pawn exchanges on c3, we have this position where the rook gets the open file in the queen side, Magnus played queen d7 and he dreams of defeating Stockfish with the idea of knight h5. Knight a5 to push the c-pawn sincerely with the supporting of bishop, queen can arrive on there any time to pressure white, another idea is to push the f-pawn to break the center and f-file, so bishop e2 to stop the knight move, rook d8 to add pressure to the king and queen, he forgets that if I down a rook, I can easily defeat him, and this position is a childlike position to me, he got angry and sacrificed his bishop against me saying, take my gift, stockfish. Don't make me fool Magnus, if I take the bishop, then knight takes b4 will come, the queen is targeted by the knight, so she has to run then queen a4 check will come, king e1 then knight c2 check will fork my rook, king here knight takes a1 and black will completely win the game because white pieces and the king is not secured, rooks have open files and so on, but a father always be a father, I played simple king e1 move, now I am threatening to take the bishop, bishop backs, knight e2 queen d6. His next plan is to play knight d4 to sacrifice it, aha, he is trying to sacrifice his pieces against me after learning from my YouTube videos from me, not bad. If you play 200 elo move rook f1, don't think you can't play 200 elo move, whether you are 2000 rated or 2700 rated player you can always play wrong and blunder moves, don't think, I'm a 2700 elo player, so I can't make 200 elo moves, you're a stupid human, you can always play inaccuracy mistakes and 200 rated blunder moves, accept it. Therefore knight d4 will come and you may happy by getting a free knight, but the problem is that the bishop will be locked, so bishop takes pawn, takes bishop f3, queen f4, queen c1, bishop c3 will come to seize your complete dark squares, and if you try to save the rook with rook b1, then after takes takes it will mate on d2 square, don't try to be happy by getting pleasurable things, it will steal your peace of mind and happiness, be happy with the internal truth and blessings from the supreme. We have g6 and the truth is that, if you play knight g4, then I will get the f4 square with the supporting of the pawn to lasering your queen and rook, so bishop b6, takes, rook takes b6, king f1 with the idea of king g2 and activate the rook, queen c5 and he want to play knight d4 to target this and this, I moved back my queen, he double up his rooks, bishop p1 to go to the b3 square to block the rook entry file, he played queen e3 and he thought, wow. I am attacking to the center of stockfish and his pieces, but the reality is that, everything is protected by my knights, can you remember? I told you long time ago, that, knights are the only pieces to strengthen your bad pawn formation and protect your bad position, 
bishops are not as powerful as knights, unless the position is opened, and chess friends, if you want to learn from my videos then can like and subscribe to my YouTube chess, this is free of cost and free chess courses from me for my subscribers and you, ok the bishop gets the open diagonal, knight a5 and I offer him a queen exchange. You shouldn't accept queen exchange because you have lead advantages, few moves later, we will get this position where I can manage this position to win against Magnus, Magnus knows that queen exchange is not beneficial for him, so he moved back his queen, bishop takes bishop, pawn takes, and the file gets open for the rook, by doing pawn exchanges, he gets the open file to pressure my king and the knight with knight g4 and the rook, so with queen c1 I have to keep the black rook busy, rook f8. Time is running out for me, I have to do something now, so I played king e2, knight b7 rook f2 knight a5 rook b1, rook d8 rook b4 rook b8, rook a4 knight d4 and we have queen a3 to pressure the knight and the queen, he played knight c6, knight g4, rook b2, queen takes c5, takes rook to c4, to target the knights, rook a5, king here to unpin the knight and threatening to play d4, and after takes takes I will laser the knight. So he played rook takes a2, and if you dare to play d4 now then it will be very bad for you, let me show you why, then after takes takes, you know what, black played rook takes a2 two moves ago, now the position is completely changed, he will play rook a3 check, you have to move back your king, it's not knight takes d4, it's knight b3 and if you take the knight, then you will lose the rook by getting a frock, black will win the game, so back to the position, we have rook b1, and you cannot take the rook. Because of this, I defeat any grandmaster like Magnus Carlsen Hikaru, even chess.com maximum engine in any opening, end game is easy to understand, so enjoy it with my beautiful IQ piano music. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.